can't see Tracy. Tracy, <laughs> scooch on in here a little bit. Okay, you're here. Hi, guys. Hey, Hi. good morning. <laughs> Can you see Tracy? Get me here. We can see all of them. So uh, welcome to our first live book club. So yeah. it looks like quite a few of you guys are waiting. That's good. We have somebody from the UK. Did yep. she say what time is it there? Is that where it's 9 p.m.? Is it 7 p.m.? I think 7 we That's think 7 p.m. That's a good time after dinner. Yeah, and I know somewhere else it's 6 a.m. And what I feel kind of bad about is that, you know, when we talked about doing this, we wanted it to be on a schedule, on a set schedule, that the newsletters will go out on the 1st and the 15th. Mm -hmm. And if for some reason a lot of people have emailed us and said that they didn't get the email, they're all on the website. You can go download one. I think we end up in junk a lot. But the newsletters go out on the 1st and the 15th, and the live YouTube book review will always be on the second Monday. Well... Poop, uh, second Monday, is also <laughs> an eclipse day. An eclipse day. So um, we think a lot of you was um, lucky people in the to in the uh, path of totality yes. are not with us, and justifiably so. We um, yeah. This is our little snack plate. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're part of right here. participating. Mm -hmm. In 2017, we looked it up because we were sitting in, when I lived here in town, we were sitting on my front doorstep watching it. Yeah, we didn't have a totality we eclipse, but it was pretty awesome. Yeah, because there was totality in Oregon. Yeah, mm -hmm. back then. Yeah, that's yeah. when we were down. Yeah, Darlene right. from Cherokee says she's in it, and she says that animals are being a little crazy about it. The animals are that's crazy. That's what they did. The, mm -hmm. the animals. Would... I'm sure. And how long? I... So, I, I get, we'll watch it tonight and see because yeah. I don't even understand how long it's um, dark. Dark. Are yeah. they hiding or howling or? Going to trying sleep. to get I think close just to her. Or, I'm just curious what yeah. kind of reaction. Are they getting? Yeah, hmm. I would think that they would be nervous. Yeah. 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 Allison um, McCullough from this week. She says they're going to hey, be Allison. at. Hey, congrats five. on the big old win for South Carolina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thought of you last night. You guys, big winners. Anyway, what did um, she say? Uh, we'll have 85 percent today oh, at about wow. three o'clock Eastern time. Wow. Okay. okay. Not total yet. Not total. All right. Well, we're going to kind of try to uh, keep this to under an hour. <laughs> Darlene said everyone's gobbling or mooing. Just gobbling or mooing. So turkeys are chit chatting and cows are just mooing. <laughs> I guess my story is full of Right. Right. She's a little Yeah. I, it's it's got to be critters. weird. Yeah. Because I think that biological clock is just mm -hmm. so strong that for it to be dark, it doesn't it's make sense. It. She's busy. Right she doesn't bother her. Busy is unconcerned. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. And Val was saying that the birds are gone, birds. thinking probably that it's night. But it's nighttime. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, sure. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cool. Weird. Now the donkeys are going. <laughs> <laughs> Girling, your house is crazy. <laughs> I want to hear the donkeys. I know. I know. All right. Well, I'm, I'm right. going to watch it tonight and see what they said that there's. I mean, live coverage right now, but uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what's happening. So, all right. All right. So, of course, the book that we're talking about is Mad Honey. So, if you've not yet read and you want to hear all of the spoilers, that's okay because there's lots of spoilers in this book. And then at the end, we're going to talk a little bit about the four that were suggested and the one that was voted on uh, for next month. So, um, so Mad Honey. So uh, we've talked about this a couple times, but Jodi Pico. It, I like her writing. I I, she has been, I've been a fan of her books for a very, very long time. Um, lots of her books have been uh, turned into movies. And so uh, when I thought Jodi Pico and Honey, it seemed pretty good to me. I did not know who this person was. Um, of course, now I know who this person is because I sort of did a little deep dive afterwards and watched mm -hmm. a couple of their interviews. And um, what was kind of funny for me with this book um, is that as an overall opinion, we'll start with that first um, for you guys to give us your overall, you know, how many stars overall opinion. And I would say that for me, um, um, I thought that it was jumpy. I thought that it was very difficult because of going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I could absolutely 100% tell that there were two people writing two different, because I think that if one author writes a point of view from, you know, a man and a point of view from, you know, a woman, a point of view from a child, there still is, 
you know, some, some similarity, I guess, but I could absolutely tell in the writing style that it was too. Yeah. And I have to say that for me personally, um, even though I loved Lily, I loved, she was, you know, I don't I know that I really recognize it because somebody mm -hmm. was reading it. Oh. And I wonder if I was reading it myself. You know, because I see, was I, I listened to it and I recognized yeah. that it was a different see, yeah. person. I didn't. I so since I read it, mm -hmm. I didn't think about oh, somebody different is writing this mm -hmm. person. It, no. it never even really occurred to me. And the going back and forth, I read that so much in books that if you read the title mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. of the chapter, right. you realize that okay, whose point of view it is, yeah, or or who it is, mm -hmm. and where we are in time. Mm -hmm. And so if you, because I had to go back a couple times and say, okay, where, where are we? But I, mm -hmm. I honestly couldn't say that I, so you could tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, it's mixed for you guys too. So you guys say, yeah, I could tell the difference that it was two authors that changed other people that, oh, I just noticed it was, felt like it was two people's perspective. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's good. Yeah. And I think sometimes too, a lot of it might depend on who you listen to or who you read, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, like, cause I also like Frieda McFadden. I also love, um, um, a, a couple of authors that I feel like I sort of know their writing styles and maybe that's what it was, was that, um, yeah, her writing style was so unique, um, for me, but, I loved her character. Yeah. Um, in, right. In, and the different perspectives were good. I did yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so let's go. Oh, go ahead. Um, and a lot of people were saying they're starring. Are, are you guys starring them out of five? Yeah. Five, uh, four. Yeah. How many stars? Out of five. We got so mix Overall. of four and threes. Fours and threes. Um, some of them was the jumping around. Jumping around. Um, that it was sometimes kind of hard. And I agree, the jumping around was hard. And I don't know if it was harder that I'm gonna have to yell at my children. Can you guys hear something? <laughs> We're not in an earthquake or anything. They're drumming. My children. <laughs> Sometimes they're banging the covers. <laughs> because of the the jumping of the time. And I agree. And I wonder if it would have been easier for me if I was reading it than someone listening it to. I don't mm -hmm. know. Well, because I think the other thing too is the the time frame thing that oftentimes, you know, here's where the murder happened. Mm -hmm. And so then they're gonna go back. And work our way to the murder, but they didn't do it that way. They went back a little farther, back a little farther, mm -hmm. back a little farther, and then oh wait, and then back a little farther. Mm -hmm. And it was it was unusual. Yeah. Once you figured that out, though, by the time I was at least well, maybe before halfway, I had that figured out. Yeah, that we were going way back, or we were yesterday. Yeah, you know, yeah. and so I don't know. I was just used to that. But okay. I don't know. I did not find. In fact, I kind of like I needed to connect the dots. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the only way I was able to finally connect the dots. What was your overall score of the book? I give it. Um, well, I've, I told you this before. If this had just been a book passed around among our, you know, our reading, you know, just our friends. Buddies. I don't know if I would have finished it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what would have been the turning point for you to stop okay. and not finish it? That trial and him being arrested. I mean, we're only talking quite into the first 50 pages. And mm -hmm. it was like, oh, this is really going to be hard. Mm -hmm. But I kept at it. And then finally, and I didn't, and you guys kept on saying that the ending is okay yeah. mm -hmm. or good. So what I finally did was I went to the back. I skipped the epilogue. I did not go to the last chapter. I just picked, you know, I didn't go to the last chapter, but I just kind of picked like about, well, frankly, where it was is when the medical examiner was testifying oh, yeah. that she had or could possibly have had this disease. I All I had to do is read that one page. Mm -hmm. I went back and finished the rest of the oh, book sure. okay. because I knew that I could make it through without being, being so upset. really upset. Yeah. 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 I agree. What did you think, Tracy? I, I like the whole, the thing. whole book. Yeah. I like really the whole book thing. Okay. <clears throat> I like the way they, yeah. They had um, to do it the way they did it. I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like, like the way they did it when, when I finally feeling. understood it. Yeah. But did mm -hmm. it make you feel that way? Because what I kept thinking is, oh my gosh, how many people are incarcerated and asked to take deals, even I though they didn't do it? That's right. what I guess mm -hmm. that right. that feeling of, um, oh my gosh, how how would that be if you were wrongly right. accused and you're right. given choices that 
don't seem like real choices right. at yeah, all. Yeah, right, right. You know, I think right. that's one of the questions, you know, yeah. that we were going to ask mm -hmm. was, um, you know, what does it make you think about our justice system? Mm -hmm. you know, I think sometimes the for the authors, sometimes they kind of go through a trial and they're only telling, you know, from one side of it. But this was sort of interesting and yeah. in understanding that it's kind of corrupt. Right. They just, <laughs> and, yeah, but even his uncle. Yeah, even know, his uncle. It, it was just like, okay. Well, it, well his name was Jordan, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. His, I mean, he said right off the bat, I don't want to know. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, just gonna... I'm just going to defend you. I don't want to know what happened. And I see a lot in crime stories and trials mm -hmm. that right. the attorney does not want to know. But I just felt like the police work was really shoddy, you know, Super even to begin shoddy. with. And I, you know, when they asked, well, like the question they kept, you know, they asked him, were you in her bedroom? Well, why didn't he say Yes, I've been in her bedroom many times. Right. Yeah. I agree. I didn't. I disagree with that. Well, he was talking about today. No, I wasn't. Yeah. Well, of course I. But I was her boyfriend. Of course, you yeah. I feel like that was a trap <laughs> question. She was like, yeah. well, and I feel like it's funny that he never. Ashton never said, well. I was he up asked there. me. I thought he meant like today. Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't up there today. Yeah, uh, yeah you well, he, he said that I wasn't up there today. And then like, why are you? But why your are you fingerprints are all. And it's like yeah, I agree. And then kept your fingerprints are all over the place. Well, doesn't that yeah. logically mean for you that he could have been there any time? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, he could have been yeah. there the day before. <laughs> yeah, Lori says it really good. It's proven versus with unreasonable doubt. Right. Which makes yes. Sense. Right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. All right, let's All right. go through a little and, bit. And uh, darling, I totally agree. Uh, she said, in our day, our mothers would have killed us to have boys in our room. Same here. Absolutely. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Beating you down. <laughs> you have the windows down. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be right here in the kitchen. We can see you. We're making cookies. <laughs> well, did not actually know, though, that he no, had ever been up there? she did there? not. No, but I neither. Did. Because neither. Because he, one of the moms. Because didn't he go through the window? Yes. Yeah. So she actually didn't. Well, she, she did. That's those know. two level houses right there. <laughs> Little one flat one. It's like you knew who was doing what. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So, let's see. Um, so, we did ask the question um, about Mad Honey and why did we think that, um, why do you think that that was the title that was chosen? And, you know, and they I, only talked about that, they talked about that there was like one, <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> you guys hear that? <laughs> there was one little sentence about that yeah. and um, where it explained what Mad Honey was is that it's bad honey. So, it looks good on the outside, but on the inside, it's bad. Yeah, it's you. when it's the bees are around rhododendrons and something yeah. else, then it's bad honey yeah and but it makes people I, but i wasn't weird. sure what that had to do with any character uh -uh. you know i mm -hmm. thought that it was sort of weird because it would make you think that somebody who you somebody, know puts yeah. off something that's fantastic mm -hmm. but inside they're rotten you know and yeah. i didn't think that about I anybody didn't think, I, didn't, so I wasn't I didn't, sure who that was about i didn't really um so it, it was sort of an odd uh -huh. um hmm. all right let's see um, favorite uh, character? I think all of us have kind of said the same thing to ask who was the favorite character. Everybody that um, didn't, wasn't everybody's favorite character, Lily? Hi. <laughs> oh, thinking. So, Cindy, Cindy S., uh, I already have a note from you that I, I don't so know. I don't know. Cindy S. She said the symptoms of mad honey are intoxicating, intoxication and poisoning. First love is intoxicating in the murder trial poisoned oh. several relationships. That is brilliant. Oh, oh that, yeah. she gave me yeah. chills. Oh, I know. Because That's I also right. wrote down that um, she, I, she liked the perspective of Lily's story being told backwards because mm -hmm. it helps you fall in love with her as a female before the bombshell drops. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Totally. 110% you know, agree that I love yes. they wrote her like that. Yes. And you know, that was what this um, Jennifer Kenny Boylan that was what she said, because um, I watched an uh, author interview thing, and she said that what she wanted was, um, because apparently people who picked this book, they knew that there was a transgender person mm. in there, but they oh, didn't I know who it was. I didn't know. I had no idea. Totally Ooh. no idea. Ooh. But um, but she, they didn't want you to know who it was. Yeah, so I think that was they a really you, good way yeah, to And they that. wanted you to fall in love with Lily as a person before you... Um, mm -hmm. Well, you know, when out. you were reading that, all that about Lily, see, I kept on wondering why, why did she commit, you know, why did she try to commit suicide? I mm -hmm. wanted to know, I mean, they were telling the story of mm -hmm. her father, um, 
And she read, and then, uh, well, she did talk. More I of the guess. stuff came after. Oh, so I totally guessed. I, I oh, knew. I, I knew reading. No I kept thinking, idea. oh, there was a comment in there, something about, you know, when they were talking about their intimate um, experience. And um, anyway, they were going through the details of that. And she said, and here he was um, uh, between my legs at my biggest secret. And I thought, well, what secret did well, I down think, there? Well, and that's so what that was when I. Well, yeah. you see, I was put. I guess I, 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 I was not shocked. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like, well, now it all makes sense, and it connected the dots, and it didn't bother me at all. But yes, yeah, they she made her a wonderful character. I mean, she mm -hmm. had her faults, and too, a lot of other people liked um, Olivia just the strength of being able to break away. Mm -hmm. from that kind of relationship and start over and not the fear of starting over. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a consensus, no, a consensus, consensus that nobody liked Brayden. Nobody liked that. No, of course not. Why would anybody like yeah. him? Yeah. Uh, it sure makes me wonder about it. You know, when um, Asher took, you know, took her on that, was it Thanksgiving day or something yes. to his house and when he saw him with another family. Yeah, that hurt my heart. Uh, yeah, that hurt that, my heart a lot. Well, mm -hmm. and I just wondered about that poor woman. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Well, well you know, married to now. It's, you know that. Yeah. That yeah. Not it's there. not be good. Um, one of the other questions was the idea of was there um, another point of view that we wanted to hear? Because it really the story is primarily about Olivia and Lily. We don't know a lot about Asher. You know, they don't really dive into him very much. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of it is because that's, you know, the story really is about um, those two women and their secrets that they kept. But I kind of wish that we would have known a little bit more about Ava. Mm -hmm. Just a little yes. bit more. She mm -hmm. seemed really, and I worried about her afterwards. I have to say that for me personally, um, getting the hot, hunky uh, uh, yeah, cop in the end, I really wish Ava would have gotten him. But um, she was a lesbian, wasn't she? Wasn't she with another woman? No. no. Who, that, who, was, that was Maya's. That right. was Maya's mom. Maya's mom's. Maya's mom's. Right. Maya's yeah. mom's yeah. Well, it didn't yeah. seem like yeah. she was. Cindy agrees with this too. Really Cindy agrees. Wants to hear my name. Into. Well, well, and well she's just all alone. And being but from a mother's. Alone. And being from a mother's perspective, how, like, you know, having kids of my own, having someone bring a boy home or bring a girl home, that would never, I would still love my son or my daughter nonetheless. You can love whoever you want to love. And I will love them. Lesbian yes. or and I whatever. feel like if my one of my kids wanted to change, how do you cope with that as a parent? And I think Ava would really show. I mean, they showed a little bit of how supportive mm -hmm. she was. And mm -hmm. let's just do this. And again, broke away from mm -hmm. that relationship because dad did not agree with it. And I feel like I would be OK with that, too. But also mm -hmm. the they brought up at the very end, you know, losing a son and then losing, losing a daughter. She lost daughter. two, yeah. you know, yeah. and just. I agree that I feel like her story would also be a good one to hear. If they ever, yeah, they if Jody, too much. Yeah. yeah, if Jody ever wanted to write a, and I don't like the whole idea of sequels, and this is part, you know, book three in a four bar, part series. Right. I hate that, but I would like to know what happened to Ava. Well, it's kind of all, you I know, they told her. Ava's story, you know, raising her, and then Bra these two women were so strong. <laughs> I, I talk about two abusive men in mm -hmm. two different, mm -hmm. but leave it. But anyway, once the trial started and stuff, and Ava or Lily died, Ava was really, I mean, they, she was at the trial, and she was, I think, very broken broken or something. But they never, ever, they right. never they talked about her again. It. They never well, told the they, story. She at moved away. She drove away. Well, at the so end, she was driving the away. The perfect opening for mm -hmm. another Ava's story. All right, Jody. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Um, Karen said that there's a book called This Is How It Always Is, um, which is just how a family copes with that. Oh, mm -hmm. That's got to be a, that's, okay. that's a hard one, but people have got to yeah. be okay. Got to be. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, Sue book. Garrison has a good question. Tell me. Um, where it's probably one of our questions down, but she wonders if Maya would have come forward if Asher would have been found guilty. I wondered that too. No, no. I, I don't, don't think, think Maya either. would have. I did not care for her at all. No. I think she was jealous from the whole thing because her her time 
to come forward would have been when she lied on the stand, exactly. understanding that that could have convicted him. Right. You know, yeah. and then, you know, to read and then the jury is deliberating. She had every, every opportunity. Chance. And then, um, so no, I don't think she would have ever come forward. I didn't care for her at all. I was surprised mm -hmm. that it was her. Okay, I, that was I, my going to ask. Who did you guys think it was? Did you think Asher killed her? No, no. I never I, thought. He I did always thought it, I thought it was I an accident. I thought it was. I thought it was that dirt. 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 I, yeah. I, I never thought, thought it was dirt. It was too obvious. I well, never thought it was dirt. Thought, the first yeah. time I thought Dirk and then Maya because I thought. And then I thought right. It's too. I obvious, thought but Maya, Maya about halfway through. It's like she it probably never even occurred the jealousy me. thing. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was an accident. I always mm -hmm. thought because I thought, well, who could it be? You know, because I thought, mm -hmm. well, I mean, maybe Maya. I had never thought Maya, but no, but I always I thought, thought Dirk went they're there. They're going to find that yeah. she tripped and yeah. fell. I never thought it was Asher. I didn't think it was yeah. Dirk. Oh, I, I thought that was I too thought obvious. It was him, but yeah, a lot of people thought that it was the dad. Um, some of the people that had oh. emailed over stuff, Deb Heatherly, yeah. a lot of people thought that it was the dad, or even some people even thought that it was Asher's dad, because I think everybody had the same oh. thing. It's like, well, it's someone you know, not go them. by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah. And then the other question that had come up was, um, and maybe we had this in the question, but I'm not sure. Um, um, how did you feel that they decided not to? Um, send Maya to trial. Um, I was I was both ways. I felt like that was unfair, but in the same part, why put everyone through that again? Mm -hmm. You but know, I feel like that again. So to my question is, how law works? Is it Ava? Is it Mom who pressed his charge against Maya, or is it the state? No, the state will. Oh, so the state, state, the state, I think they should have. Well, except well, that they couldn't. She, she did. She perjured. Know, she should she have perjured. gotten into at some least, trouble. At least for perjury. She should have at least gotten in trouble. That. She should have gotten in trouble for a couple of things. But I think that even, you know, the jury didn't find Asher guilty. Oh, and so true. hell, oh. hell. Yeah. And he was found innocent. So then for Maya to find out that. Lily had this condition where she was going to bleed. They were never going to find Maya guilty anyway. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I yeah. sort of thought is that, well, if they didn't find Asher guilty when mm -hmm. it looked pretty bad for him, they weren't going to find Maya guilty. But I do think Maya should have gotten into some huge trouble. Yeah. yeah. Huge trouble mm -hmm. for that. But And I thought it was, I don't know, the emotion that Asher had when Maya told him or they figured out that was it. He was just very level-headed about it. Like, all broken hearted all over again. It's like, mm -hmm. good for you, because I would have been livid. Yeah. I don't know what I would have done, but yeah. it yeah. wouldn't have been where I'll, I'll give you a hug and say goodbye. Nope. <laughs> yes. Just, yeah. You yeah. better leave. Um, I'm out. Yeah. Okay, so then one of the other questions that we asked, and let's ask you guys this, too. Um, uh, what did everybody think about um, when Olivia thought that Asher was guilty? That was rough for me. Um, cause I feel like a mom's love is different from anybody else's. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure I would have ever, ever think that. And I wonder if it's because mom's brain was a little tweaked being so in the, being in that abusive relationship for so long. I feel like that's where her thing was, but, um, yeah, because that's what she never, thought is she thought that Asher must be like, right. Like, it like must be dad. genetic and he's going to have the itch to hurt somebody. But I would have never, I think if it was in my, I would never guess my kid mm -hmm. didn't. Mm -mm. I raised him to be a good, sweet boy. And, you know, I got your back. Got no you. matter what, be, uh, no matter what, I've got, yeah. I've got your back. I've got your back. I've got that, but I was a little disappointed in why, but I kind of think if she hadn't have seen the pictures of Lily's bruises, she, I don't think she would have ever mm -hmm begin to doubt but it was those pictures of lily's bruises um, that i think and there was, seems like there, there might have been something else it's what finally flipped her the whole, when he punched the wall yes and he punched the wall anger. so his she he has so she she's a little afraid right, of, for his anger but for her to come mm -hmm. right out though and say the things that she did i thought See, that's that's back to, do you really have to tell everything you know right, yeah. or think? Right. Keep that one to yourself. Mm -hmm. I remember years and years ago, I mean, I, uh, the very first school shooting that ever happened, mm -hmm. happened in Moses Lake. Mm 
Right. I mean, we, mm -hmm. it happened right here, 20 miles from us. And I remember when that happened and how devastating, what a weird thing that was and who would even think to do that and why would that happen? And we knew the girl that um, um, got horribly, horribly injured. And um, I remember thinking, in fact, I worked with the mom and I remember thinking many times that how horrible it was for her, but how horrifying it would be to be the mom of the shooter, right. you know, right. to be that mom of the person that, and that no matter what, you're going to stand by them anyway. I mean, support them, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. support them. I, I'm there for you. I'm going to visit you, you know, whatever. Yeah. But I, I think about that a lot. And I think that, you know, that mother's love that truly is unconditional. What's everybody saying? Kind of it? the both, the both of that she was struggling with her past and having those views. A lot of people agree with, um, Marjorie saying the bruises, the evidence of the bruising plus the hole, the hole in the wall made her have her doubts. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. the anger and the father he raised the, and all that. Mm -hmm. She, it, in fact, it though. makes you wonder. You have that question about what happens next for when and for Olivia. And I mean, yes, she finally come out and told about the the abuse, you know, that she went through, but. It's still, it's still there. I don't know if, you know, it doesn't just erase, even though it is out in the public and maybe some, mm -hmm. I've, you know, I've, I've uh, fortunately, I've never had to be around anybody that I knew that was happening to. So, you know, I don't know how long the, you know, do you ever, I don't know how you can, you know, anyway, but right. yeah, I think. Well, there's certainly things. trust issues. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Abused, yeah. I you know. can't find it. I wish I had marked it, but I think the saddest sentence in this book was before it went to trial, Asher sitting in jail, and she said something about he has changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's right. Um, let's see. We talked about, uh, Maya, so many things to pick up on. Um, oh, let's talk about this for a minute. Um, what are your thoughts about secrets? See, for me, I have to say that in, when I was, you know, reading what this book was about, um, and uh, honey and bees, which, you know, my spirit bug is a, a bee. Uh, but the other thing is the whole secret thing. And I think that we've talked about this a couple of times, even on Fabric Chat, that, um, that this is something that, that I comes up in my life all the time, you know, um, that if I don't tell you my secret, or if I don't tell you what is private, is that a lie? Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, that lie of omission, and, um, and it's hard for me because I think that I'm a very, very private person. There's, I mean, you wouldn't think that because we <laughs> chat so much, but there's certain things, there's right. certain things that it depends um, on circumstances. Yeah. But, and, you know, and, and so, uh, so there's certain things that I just tend to not share. And, um, and we were talking about this just a little bit while we were sitting here waiting to go live, you know, and what's the difference between private and a secret mm -hmm. and a secret to me, the definition of a secret is, um, a story that's not mine to tell. Yep. So if Marge tells me something and you say, Hey, what's going on with Marge? I'm going to say, I, you know, I don't know. So right. I guess that's a lie to say, I don't know if I but do know, I but a secret yeah. is is not my story to tell. Mm -hmm. And so I'm never going to share that. And I then guess you just private, finally have to say that to somebody is that it. it's yeah. not my story to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Usually I just want out. You yeah. know, I don't want somebody to keep badgering me. Yeah. I don't want to keep badgering. And so, you know, usually I just find some way to get out of the conversation so that I'm kind of not a part of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think in this situation, I think it's kind of funny because, you know, both of those women had secrets yeah. and had had private things about them that they needed to share, you know, because I think that with Lily and Asher being intimate, I mm -hmm. think that Lily does need to tell Asher and she did, and she did. you know, who she was. Um, and then I think that Olivia, the um, the the secret of being abused, she did need to have that conversation with Asher before right. she did. Mm -hmm. Asher was old enough, you know, at some point that she could have, especially the first hint of, 
you know, hitting a wall, doing anything, whatever. Or, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure that it, I, I don't know, I would mm-hmm. think that somewhere in their life, it would have come up earlier that she could have shared something mm-hmm. because I, I think it is kind of funny. And I think everybody has their own examples of what really doesn't need to be told and, and what does. But I also think it's easier if you share a secret sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, to have somebody mm-hmm. that helps you with that. But what's sure. everybody else saying about secrets um, and lies of said, omission? She said, um, I believe a secret hurts the other person where the private is something that only affects yourself. Yeah. And I agree That's with good. that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Um, Betty said that she agreed that there are things that are better off not shared for the well being of someone else's, someone else right. involved. Totally agree. Right. Right. Yeah. And I agreed with Asher not saying anything to him when Jordan was so upset, his attorney that, well, why didn't you tell me? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't important. Who cares what she was, is now mm-hmm. that doesn't change the fact of how I feel. Mm-hmm. And I agreed mm-hmm. with that. I think mm-hmm. he did the right thing to say, well, that doesn't define a person mm-hmm. or give a, per- a reason for someone to be hurt. Yeah. That was the one thing. Well, this is off the subject of private and secret, but when she finally told him, Yes, he had to process it. But how old is he? 18 years old? 18. How he, that's really. He was very, yeah. Yeah. For him to accept that and go forward with it. But, you know, I think he was a pretty smart kid. They really didn't talk about him personality wise, you know, like, I mean, he played hockey and things like that. But I think he was a pretty normal, popular kid is the way I took mm-hmm. him to be i don't mm-hmm. know what of which has nothing to do with anything but how he took that news was yeah kimberly said that's why asher was her favorite character. asher was your favorite and that's character. why she liked i think mm-hmm. he was very i thought he was a very except level, he had level, a level few anger kind. issues but yeah. were anger they issues. serious anger issues or was, well, at least or he was, was taking it out on a wall yeah, or was right. he, if he takes it out on a wall mm-hmm. fine right you know Right. right. Because he was so tender, you know, so broken mm-hmm. when he was spending the time in the playhouse. What was that thing? Treehouse. Yeah, treehouse. treehouse mm-hmm. Where they were. He, he truly loved her. Mm-hmm. I agree. What are your thoughts on secrets and private? Um, Nancy, too I think she says private is none of your business. <laughs> That's right, Nancy. Sally, or what happens in the bedroom? <laughs> right. <I agree. laughs> this way, it's private. Um, yeah. Secret. I agree. It's just, you know, if somebody tells me something, I, you know, I'm not going to share it. Mm-hmm. And if you wanted to know, I would just say, yes. talk to her. You would have to ask them. It's, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. it's not. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. What else are they saying in there? We're all good? Yeah. All right, so let's see. The only thing they disagree with is that they were intimate before Lily told Asher. And they wish that she would have said it before they were intimate. Yeah. I think you are right about I that. Mm-hmm. I, was a little I think you're right yeah. about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's why Asher had to take a minute. You know, and now I feel like I'm trapped because I'm now really connected with you. Mm-hmm. But now I feel like I got to think about this. Um, so I think that's why it probably took him harder to think about yeah, it. Yeah. But who knows? I can see where she she's also coming from, having such a fragile heart from her, you know, last mm-hmm. relationship, thinking, I don't think she ever thought, oh, I need to trap him first. I don't think that was ever the mindset. I just think no, she was I so It seemed to have moved pretty quickly, though, because they met just twice. before school in September. Yeah, three months. And they yeah. were intimate by October. Yeah, that seems mm-hmm. fast to me. That seems pretty fast. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. but, yeah, I agree. It should have been. Yeah, I'll I'd kind of forgotten about, was it Jonah? Was that his name? Mm-hmm. Jonah, the other yeah. boy? I'd forgotten about him. You know, well, he didn't, of course, h- how that news was broken in wherever they were living before, or was it Oregon or Northern California, you know, when she left and took him mm-hmm. there, and how the news was, well, her father broke the news, did it to the whole swim team or somebody? Wasn't that what it was? I think yeah. I, that was horrible. How her, that... Uh, that poor girl, mm-hmm. and then Joe being so that was hard mean. To... Well, how how yeah. yeah, how all your teenage girls friends. are so mean. Well, and Sweet then he, mercy. you know, I think he had to be the macho guy, and yeah. you know. But then when they met again years later at a fencing match, how just, it mm-hmm. it made it would have made you wonder what would have happened if Asher wasn't in the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And yeah, a couple of people agree. Lori said um, that it kind of took his choice away. Mm -hmm. Right. Being able to mm -hmm. say that. And a lot of people, I agree with that. I too. agree with that. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Um, uh, a couple of people emailed and texted and um, shared a couple of thoughts. I was really impressed. Michelle Murray, she filled out the entire form <laughs> and sent all of her. And she was just, I notes. loved all, there's your notes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I loved all of her comments. I just want to share a couple things here for a minute. Yellow. She had that. Okay. She, <laughs> well, I had to do my book review because I read other books. So yeah, I, had to. I know. You sort of move on just for a minute. So, um, so uh, she had, uh, she was saying almost the same things who her favorite characters were. Um, she liked, she really liked, none of us have talked about her yet. Um, the, the uncle attorney and his wife. Yeah, I sort of liked her. Um, uh, so she had the same things. Uh, she was talking about everything. Um, uh, she also, we hadn't talked about this. I think we talked about this in a book chat. I mean, a little comment early on about the domestic violence. So she talked yeah. a little bit about that, that, and you talked about that. That was really hard for me too. Yeah. I think I also would have put the book down. I'm not sure that I would have finished it if it wasn't a book club read. I kept thinking, oh my gosh, it's way too heavy for me. Um, mm -hmm. because we've talked about this before that, you know, I choose a book based on, um, entertainment mm -hmm. value. I want to be entertained. I want to be surprised. I want to learn a little something, you know, but I, it's purely entertainment for me. And so, and I think that's why now they're doing, um, trigger warnings in books, oh. but, uh, I don't remember seeing that. Mm. No, I don't feel like there they was did. no trigger warnings in uh, this. And I feel like the back of it didn't. No, didn't it even didn't say, because yeah. it was it, there was horrifying bullying. Mm -hmm. There was um, very significant um, uh, domestic violence. Mm -hmm. There was a murder. There was oh, it's murder. I mean, mm -hmm. I think every book I read has murder. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, no. <laughs> sorry, but there was abortion. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a lot of stuff in there that it was kind of funny that, um, that I, uh, but for me, it was a little too graphic and a little too, you know, the woman going back and I'll, I mean, I don't know, I that, that early that part of the book. I, and then some the child, of that I didn't, didn't like bother me. Like I, growing up, we had a pretty sheltered life growing up. I mean, we, mm -hmm. mom and dad made sure we were never put into a situation that would have been bad. Um, and even, you know, through school when, you know, bullying happens, I don't know. I never really had a problem with the bullying or anything. They were definitely mean girls. I'm just, I think I'm very thick skinned that I never let them get to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I never let those hurtful words make me want to change something about myself, mm -hmm. you know, or wear something different or make sure I was hanging out with someone or not, you know, so I feel like for me, in my age, none of that really bothers me. But really I think triggered you. Really triggered me. I think how I was raised and how I grew up, I think definitely changes what responds to things. Yeah. I do think right now, like I'm an emotional reader, <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> I would not add emotion to one of my, you know, how to describe me. Um, <laughs> I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. But, you know, the heartbreak, you know, losing a husband or whatever, that really affects me. Um, mm -hmm. Having little kids, that, and I think it's probably because I'm a mom. There's right. things like that that bother me. Right. Um, and Asher probably didn't, but I don't have kids that age. Mm -hmm. You know, right. you have grandkids that age. You mm -hmm. live that age. Um, and mine aren't there. Even the kids in my family aren't that age. So I think when I have that in my life, that will hit a little harder. But it's one of yeah. those things that as you, you know, grow into whatever life you're living, mm -hmm. things will react differently. Yeah. Um, uh, the other thing uh, that uh, Michelle and several people made this comment that, um, and I don't know, uh, I'm not, in, um, I'm not sure that I would pick or not pick a book um, that's about transgender. I mean, I don't know that that necessarily mattered to me, but it was, uh, um, I learned so much. I think I did too. Because mm -hmm. I, I, think was I don't research. know. I think it was really well done. Mm -hmm. I think it, there was a lot of information in there that I did not know. Mm -hmm. And I liked the way that it was presented. I liked the way that the whole thing came together. And it wasn't because mm -hmm. so often we see this super weird stuff now with people that are being all weird. And mm -hmm. I don't know. And I'm I get so tired of seeing that. 
this seemed really sensible to me and it was really mm -hmm. good to understand how it all and people are agreeing with that that they probably wouldn't have picked one like that mm -hmm. but they did learn some people said they probably would have put it down at that point but since it was a book club book they mushed through it because it's such a pc problem right yeah now. see i would have never put it down when i found that out all it did was oh, it makes sense some of the oh, story sure. makes sense mm -hmm. that that, that mm -hmm. it's it's yeah. life yeah. yeah. Life is happening. And stuff that, yeah. All right. Let's see. I think that that, so lastly, so as, I, think we, I think we started with this was how many stars. So oftentimes in, in the book clubs that we've been a part of before is that um, they would ask us to write it. Um, how many stars for the book overall? Mm -hmm. How many stars for um, the characters, character development, that sort of thing. And then um, also the writing. Um, mm -hmm. so again, for me personally, I, I liked the book. I would probably give it about, um, maybe a four out of five stars. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I wouldn't give it that fifth star, a star is for me personally, it was choppy. It was difficult for me to, um, uh, I, I feel, well, I, I don't know that I will ever again read a collaborative book. I mean, I, for me, or without audibly, knowing, without knowing both authors, do you think audibly made the difference? Well, you said that you, I like an audible book. Cause I liked her. I loved her voice. I loved Lily's Some voice. Like Lily's, Lily's voice. voice. I, liked <laughs> it. I liked it. I liked it. So did so, every character have a different voice? Well, I mean, they will make their voice, voice different change, when yeah. they talk about things. And so it was but, well, but, okay. So but did the me, same person do all of the women? No, no I'm oh. sure there were several people oh, in okay. it that were doing it. Lily's voice was absolutely was oh. different. But oh. and for me, I think um, it's hard for me to describe how I felt that it was so choppy. But I think that oftentimes when you're doing character development, you know, you'll talk like even the character development of Olivia. Okay. So this is what she looks like. This is how she is. This is how she reacts to things. And she's a beekeeper. And, you know, you can kind of just keep adding more to those few layers that you started and it kind of makes sense. But it was funny that Lily's character was, she would go off on, okay, so Lily liked music from the 70s, but then there'd be a whole, you know, four pages of about 80s rock bands. And then there was all of this stuff about, you know, the E string and the strings and the, there was all of these weird tangents. Olivia, of, tangents of Olivia, 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 Lily, Lily tangents. Lily, Lily, and I thought, man, let's, you know, what are you talking about? And so that was for me, what I thought was sort of when I really wanted to know about the story and the character and we were off but on You know, what I stuff. felt about that was that that was who she was because of her lifestyle being so different that mm -hmm. she really, all that information, all those things that she knew were things because maybe she wasn't fitting in with everybody, that that was her knowledge. That was her, how she fulfilled old um, beyond mm -hmm. her years mm -hmm. yeah maybe so maybe oh. so i read this part about the two authors and why they decided to do this book yeah. and the way they did it can you i i was just trying to look so one of them wrote COVID. about it yeah one of them was writing about lily and one of them writing about asher mm -hmm. but they had to trade Yes. Right. A couple chapters. Could you I tell? I absolutely which... could tell. A hundred percent I could tell. Yes. It was, the, I mean, I couldn't tell the one that Jody wrote about. Oh, that's what I meant. I could you? Tell, but I could tell the one that Jennifer Finney Boyland wrote about Olivia. And it was that same, you know, oh, talking about okay. all sorts of. Okay. Uran Uranius, um, what's the word? I'm, erroneous, erroneous things. Erroneous. That oh, was okay. all of this stuff. And I thought, what is happening in this chapter? Mm -hmm. And it, it did seem weird to me. And it was one of those, I can always tell when I have to keep going back. Wait, now what happened? Wait, now oh. what happened? Mm -hmm. And so um, so I could absolutely tell the one that she wrote. And I wonder if it would have made, like, I the whole, um, going on the whole choppy, gum, jumping forward to day, mm -hmm. to three days before, to day of trial, that kind of thing. Um I wonder what was more confusing was the timestamps. They would say this is October 13th, mm -hmm. whatever, four days before. Um, because I just recently read a book that was that way. Mm -hmm. That was back to present, to back to present. However, it didn't go so far back. It went to teenage years to present, mm -hmm. to teenage when they were kids to present. And it wasn't so bad, but we were counting down six days before, 
five days before mm-hmm. yeah. today. Mm-hmm. Yes, and that made sense. And that made yeah. sense to me. So I wonder if I was most confused because it was dating December seventeenth. Oh, I don't know when that was. Was mm-hmm. that? You know, you had to calculate. So I think some people said if I recommended it to a friend, I'd say, "Hey, put a calendar next to you. Do something." Yeah. And have your little chart mm-hmm. if you really mm-hmm. wanted to yeah. keep track. And I, because it, did. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, but it besides sense. the choppiness, I did. I think a lot of people agreed they probably wouldn't have finished it. Um, but they feel like they learned a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of one of those things. I'm glad we yeah. finished it, but mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I, I just finished a book, uh, called local woman missing by miracle Mary Kubica, 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 K U B I C A, uh, local woman missing. And she did it that way. The book started with finding this girl, this girl that had been abducted 11 years earlier. And then it went back to 11 years. And then every time it jumped forward to the current time, it was only one point of view. And it was the point of view of the four-year-old brother when the six-year-old girl was taken. Mm -hmm. And so it would jump up and he would say some little thing of what's happening. But then Mm -hmm. it kept going back 11 years. And it, but then when it would go back 11 years, it was absolutely in order. And I'll just say very, very, very good book. Um, very good book. Uh, four or five weird little twists in there. Did not see a single one <laughs> coming. Nice. Not a single one. Totally took me off guard, which doesn't often happen. But um, anyway, um, local, um, local, woman <laughs> local, local woman missing. Local woman missing by Miracle I- Mary. Kubica. I do think it, it ha, you have to be a good writer to write like that, to mm-hmm. keep, you keep your interest, yeah. Yeah. keep the, mm-hmm. so I do think it definitely speaks volumes to your author. Yeah. If they can, yeah. Yeah. you know, well, and, and, I, and, good. and if, if you're really keeping track, if you can write that way and not mix things up, like, right. okay, now right. how could that have happened? Right. Mm-hmm. And both oh, Jody oh. Pico um, and, um, Who's the other? Frida McFadden both say the same thing that they start the story backwards. That, means that you have sense. to know yeah. how they died and who did it. And then yeah, you go you for it. And then you go, them. yeah. So they fill it in that way. So they're trying to. Um, anyway, all right. Okay, well, we'll see those of us. Oh, you know what we didn't talk about was some of the, our favorite quotes. I wrote down a couple of them. Um, does anybody else have any favorite quotes that they wanted to? Um, I was I just like. scribbling down Cindy's. Um, Cindy's favorite one was, I haven't only really thought about what it meant to be trans because I've had the luxury of not having to think about it. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. I think that yeah. goes on the same thing yeah. about the book being about identity and acceptance. And I think, you know, I think a lot of this book was learning acceptance. of Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that there's another one. Um, if you want to understand something, you first need to accept the fact of your own ignorance. Mm-hmm. That was oh, a good one. Good one. Mm-hmm. And um, I love this one. Science is less messy than emotion. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Help me. Help me. <laughs> I, I do I, like Jody's very way if you read the author's notes. And she said, what would I like you to take away from this novel? Absolutely nothing. She says, I'd like you to give a chance, a thought, a damn. Yeah. Like gender, difference is a construct. We are all flawed, complicated, wounded dreamers. We have more in common with one another than we don't. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And the very last sentence, sometimes making the world a better place just involves creating space for the people who are already. I love that. that was I love favorite. that. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Jody Pico, she's still one of my favorite authors. Uh, yeah. For, for sure. Uh, she has over 20 books that are on the banned list. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh darn it. I know. It. She has a lot of them. She writes a lot. She, um, um, one of the first ones I'm that was banned she everywhere. Writing. She keeps writing. On she me. should. She says, it's okay. It doesn't matter. She says, Well, Wish You Were um, Here was one of the best books. I know. I know. Yeah. I loved Wish You Were Here. Loved that love book. That Not book. on the band list. <laughs> Darlene's like, I love the band list. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Those are the books yeah. you're going to pick out first. I know. you got to read those. Well, I want, then you want to yeah. try to guess why. Hey, and Joey, you know, when I was a teenager, um, 
Oh, I Left Me, the book that was banned and everybody read it. Um, oh, shoot, I'll think of it here, <laughs> maybe. Uh, now it's probably so tame that you wouldn't even oh, yeah. think, oh, what was it called? Mm. Mm. Shoot, I'll have to think While you're that. thinking, let's go through. We have just enough time. We have 10 minutes left. Let's talk about the books that were suggested. So what happened is these were books that were suggested by you guys. Mm -hmm. So we got lots of suggestions. We put these on a list and then you guys voted. One thing we want to mention is a couple of things. Uh, well, one thing we want to mention is a couple of things. Isn't that funny? A couple of things we want to mention is that we are going to look at that list a little bit better for next year. No. Next month. Uh, uh, for next month. Oh, because... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Cat turn the right? No, that's, no, that's uh, Oh, it was it was a, it was about a town. Um, mm. We're gonna move on while she's yeah. thinking. Yeah. While she's thinking. Look so anyway, um, anyway, band book. We. Okay. We want to um, we want to find out um, if there are books that are less popular. Um, yeah, we're going to say less popular, but like this particular one, no. um, we had the most votes that we got was for Frozen River. So this is the book that we'll be reviewing um, next month. Uh, yeah, so the yeah, second Monday of the month good. will go live. But um, uh, uh, a lot of people have said that it's on hard to their um, uh, Audible or not Audible, but um, Libby. The one? Libby, that it's 22 and 24 yeah. weeks out. And so that Peyton makes it kind of bad. Peyton Place. <laughs> That's what it was. Peyton Place. <laughs> All right. A movie or a TV show. Peyton Place. Little thing that <laughs> uh oh, baby got out. Uh, anyway, so let's talk for just a second here. We'll try to regroup here. So um, anyway, Frozen River was the one uh, we did voting on these four. This is the one that we'll be doing. And um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is there. Uh oh, he made it out. Now she's going back in. Um, uh pango books p-a-n-g-o books they do used books um your local library there was another one maybe we can put it in after we do some editing um amy had said or maybe amy's on comments here. amy vadrine um, oh. amy what are the what's the other website that you were telling me um um, other places that we can find used books so that we're not, I mean, some of these books, it's a $20 book and then you're paying shipping so we can find other ways to be able to get them. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can go to your Audible. library, but I want the book. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. And then the books that were not chosen, um, this is the next book that I'm going to start. And I want to mention that um, our friend, uh, who's, pa who's uh, Paisley's grandma? Kelly. Kelly. Kelly Bergeron. Gosh, sorry. Sorry. Brain fire. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm listening to babies crying in the background. Yeah, they're all causing some distraction. <laughs> Kelly said that she read it. And the funny thing about this is she said, um, uh, uh, the first thing she said is, oh my gosh, I just started. And she says, this book is really weird. The trees talk to each other. And I said, oh no. And I said, well, hang in there and let me know. And then halfway through, she said, halfway through, she said, you know what? It's really good. And then she finished it. Really she texted sad. me this morning. And she said it was very, very good. She learned a whole bunch about bugs and trees. But it is, I think it is a sad book. Oh. I know what the book is about. If you read the back of it, I, I think it is probably not a, um, I think it is a sad book, but we'll see what happens. This was the book that was written by, um, oh, what's his name? Takai. Takai. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It says right. George Takai. Uh, um, and this is about uh, Japanese internment camps. This was mm -hmm. one that was suggested because I think a lot of us like to read um, historical fiction. This mm -hmm. is historical nonfiction. Um, my own, our your Papa Joe, mm -hmm. uh, my father-in-law uh, was interred um, and his whole family was. And so I am going to read this book anyway. I think that it's probably not going to be an easy one to read, but no more than... Uh, Tattooist of Auschwitz or the women. So, um, you know, it's uh, so anyway, uh, we'll read that one. This one I finished. So this one was a silent. This was the murder mystery uh, yes. one that was in there. It was OK. I mean, it was all right. It's kind of funny that for me, a lot of it at the end, I always think, well, um, sometimes I have to have a full day or two days. To I don't want to read anything. I just want to be thinking, thinking, thinking. 
Uh And that's oftentimes how it's like, no, no, I just still need a minute because I'm not done processing and thinking about these people or whatever. Uh Um, So this one was a little bit like that. I have to say that I, I still think a little bit about some of these people in here, but I knew by the second chapter who did it and what was the twist was going to be. Uh, Lori Gilmartin said the same things like, well, they gave it away way too early. Um, But so then I kept thinking, well, then they're going to twist it back. There's going to be some other twist at the end that you're not going to see coming. That didn't happen, but it was still, um, it was still interesting. Uh, they did like it. A lot of people they liked already it. read it and they yeah. liked it too. It, it's, it was a good book. It, it kept my interest the entire time. Good. I was interested. I liked the writing and it was a good book. So anyway, these were the four that were suggested. Nine and week wait for that. Nine week nine wait. Weeks. Yeah. So I feel yeah. kind of bad about that. So be, um, so, um, Send us in um, email or you can add to the comments or whatever, some suggestions for what our June read will be. Mm-hmm. And uh, then we'll vote on that. Uh, that will go out in May um, uh, the 1st. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we're kind of going to look up and see what the wait lists are, if it's available for Kindle, yeah. all of those things. So um, if you have nominated something that's kind of recent, I mean, I know Frozen River has been out for about a year. Mm-hmm. maybe more, yeah. but it's still super popular. And I don't know if it's just how waves work, what people are talking about online. And I know it changes a lot, but we'll try to be considerate because, you know, we only have so long to read it. I know. And I think a lot of it's ease for, especially the people that like to borrow them from the library, you yeah. know, whether that's on your Kindle or, um, or, or listening to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's such a, I, I feel like I am fun. backwards. For you, Marjorie. I want to read it. If I like it, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, buy it at oh, all. Like for it. a book club <laughs> book and stuff, yes, I will buy them because, you know, it's a book and I kind of like to refer. And some of them I'll never look at again as long as I yeah. live, you know. But um, uh, I'm I'm a I'm a real I love books, I like books. and I yeah. would I I don't think I you can trust so... a person who doesn't have a bookshelf. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know. I know. You don't have a book. I don't know about you. <laughs> but anyway, I I buy used books and stuff all the time, and so that when I had to pay full price for a book, I like, know mm, this is hard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> our library, our local library in Silk Lake, is fantastic. You can go in there and you can buy a hard hardcover book for twenty five cents. Yeah. And a paperback yeah. for 10 cents. Yeah. yeah. I usually will go in and drop some off and then I always come Rummage. home with yeah. more. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they have good yeah. books. Um, so. uh, Angie was saying that she's gotten use books off of eBay and has oh, had eBay. Good success. Usually I just go to Amazon mm-hmm. and get there. And I've and I've gotten some brand new hardcover books for three bucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, these weren't the the used ones or as much as the new ones. Yeah. On these. So it was, it's okay. Did but. anybody else come up with it? Did Amy come in and tell us what that mm-hmm. one site was? No, I haven't seen anything else. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll share different things. Yeah. And we'll but I'll look up this pain. Yeah. Too. And Maybe Amazon I'll... is expensive, um, regardless of what you're shopping for, because Amazon, of course, is going to sell them, give whoever the little cut. But they, of course, want their cut. So Amazon is always going to be more expensive. You can also go into your local bookshop. I mean, we have a coffee shop. They don't really carry a whole lot. They carry... Um, they were just starting to carry, I think maybe Reese Witherspoon's book club books. So every book mm-hmm. of the month they're going to be carrying, but, um, we, we can always go ask them for a title and they'll always get this place is Goodwill. Goodwill. But they not, mm-hmm. but they may not necessarily have newer New ones. Yeah. 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 Well, get your suggestions in for what our June book will be, but yes. this is May. And, um, gosh, thank you guys for hanging out. Any other last minute? uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, Lori said that The Silent Patient is going to be a movie. Oh, it is. You watch for that. Um, The Tattooist of Auschwitz, starting next month, is going to be a series on Peacock. Mm -hmm. Peacock is a free download app thing. Robert watches stuff on it. I'm gonna have to, I don't know if I can watch it. I read it. (laughs) I lived it. (laughs) And also, Lori, are they going to change it? They should. It's history. You should. If it's a series, they may not too much. They might not. It's. I wish I would be a movie. So for two and a half hours, I can be sad and weep and be over it. (laughs) I don't want to live it for six weeks. But yes, it was a movie. 
Um, is this about, is it, was this the person who put the numbers? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hard to read, but it was. But then you go down that thing. Then the next one you want to read is Silka's Journey. I'll tell you, if you're ever in Washington, D.C., make an appointment to go to the Holocaust Museum. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to go. I was, I, it was I'm very for but I mean, the last thing you see are the shoes. Oh, um, yeah, that's hard. I'll never forget that. Yeah. All right, okay. guys, let's see. And then also those of you guys that have the book. So I think there's a lot of you guys that just did it on recipes. Kindle. Recipes. There's recipes in the good back. honey recipes. Yeah, there's all kinds of good. The honey bread, the honey cake, the yeah, the stuff um, Olivia was making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all in the back of the book, which is kind of cool. Super, super cool. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We really super appreciate it. Super yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, and this has been recorded, so it is going to be on our um, YouTube live, so you can go back if you um, got in late, or maybe you were, um, you were in watching the reality. You were watching the eclipse all time. We're going to go outside and uh, see what we can see. <laughs> You're going to rewatch it. So, it's over. It's, it's over. It's, it's, gone. it's gone. The moon is somewhere else. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Awesome, Thanks, you guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. It was good. That was good. That was kind of fun.